set for the World Series. Game one is next. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Tampa Bay Rays going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. There may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the Fall Classic, Singy. Lots of excitement to get this thing started. Yeah, and the players feel that just as much as the fans. You're down there with goosebumps, and these guys are just trying to stay in the moment. But I'll tell you, for the home team especially, it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped up with all the energy in this building right now. And on the other side, of course, you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road. First pitch coming your way next. Here's Manuel Margot. The white beauty of her team. Manuel Margot. The 2 1. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Patting third. The shortstop. Wander. Bronco. Eric Stevens, the next pirate to hit. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. And that one hammered. Low, going back, back some more. Booyah! A two-run homer, and they jump out front. It's 2-0. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. Up for a second, he brought it back out there too. He gave it a great effort, but you know, those plays are so tough to pull off, and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Kyle Mansardo next to hit for the Rays. So far, the playoffs have not been kind to him, but tonight, a chance to start anew. So much of this game is mental. He's just got to tell himself, I'm here. I've worked hard all year. Go out, have fun, trust your ability. You know, Singy, there's some people. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. The Rays strand just the one, and they're down 2 nothing. Top half of the third inning, Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. Game one of the World Series here tonight, and all he's hoping is that the success that he's had in the first couple of rounds continues. The great thing, you're here in the World Series. Now just try to have fun. The performance has been outstanding, and why should it stop now? How do they cool him off? Well, they're going to be extremely careful with him. I doubt he's going to get much to hit today, but when he does, be careful because he can hit it all. Eric Stevens, the next pirate to hit. He's already homered here in this one. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. At the plate for Nevada. Pittsburgh, Eric no, Stevens. Eight. One for two with a two-run homer yeah. back in the first. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Righty delivers. On the ground to the left, Franco whips it to first on the run. And there are two down. Just an outstanding. Josh Lowe next to hit for the Rays. 
corner infielders guarding the lines trying to prevent extra bases this one in the air center field pulls up on it base hit couple of hits in a row for him here when you flare a ball out Lau at the plate infield shifted to the pull side the tying run at the plate that's out to center field Stevens under it and he's got it ball game and the Pirates claim game one here at home great pitchers duel in this one you get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. Not a ton of offense to chat about as we look at the final numbers, but this was a good one. Yeah, it was a low scoring game, Boog, but sometimes those can be the best, especially this time of year. And your final score here today, 2-1. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.